Hello everyone and welcome to Introduction to Traffic Lights, another of my Chip and Rat Introduction to series of tutorials. Today we're going to be talking all about traffic lights and signaled intersections and how they work in city skylines and how to make them more efficient. To most properly use this tutorial, you will need Traffic Manager President's Edition. I will have a link to it in the description below, as well as all the other mods that I use for most of my videos or streams. The basic traffic light setup in city skylines is very rudimentary and not very realistic as it allows cars to routinely run into each other as they turn left. It also routinely messes up the amount of cars that it needs to let through at a certain amount of time. As you can see in the east-west directions or left and right on the screen here, you have massive traffic buildup, whereas in the north-south directions you have almost none, and this traffic light is not handling it very well. How this light operates as a default is very basic, as I said. It allows traffic to go in two directions, the opposite-facing directions, in this case like left and right, are currently going. They can do every turn, left, right, or straight, and then it lets the other direction go, in this case north-south, and again, lets them turn or go straight in any direction. This leads to a lot of conflicts and the timing is very poor. The last thing is with only two lanes of traffic in each direction and without adding any guidance on which lane should be doing what, you'll notice that almost everyone goes into the left lane where they are going either straight or left and almost nobody is using the right hand lane which causes even more problems. The first thing we're going to do in order to solve the problems with this basic lighted intersection is we're going to talk about different ways to reduce conflict by talking about different ways to order the signals and the traffic lights. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into Traffic Manager and we're going to go to Time Traffic Lights here and select our node. If we want, we can do the basic Traffic Manager light intersection, which you do by pressing Control and then left clicking on the intersection. As you can see, it's popped up four states or intersection light sequences. And if we go to stop, we can analyze what we're doing here. They each have a timer of between three and eight seconds, and they want to have more waiting than driving to switch to the next stop. As you can see, it's changed it from allowing two directions to go at once to only allowing one direction to go at once, as well as right turns on the other intersections. As we click through, we can see that it's going counterclockwise through the rotation, allowing only one direction at once. Let's see how this works compared to the initial default way. For a little added information, you can hit the show counters here, which shows how long each different light has in seconds until it turns green again. So you can see 16 seconds here, 24 seconds, 8 seconds 16, and 8 seconds here. As you can see, we've reduced our conflicts on the left turns. However, we have not solved the traffic problem one bit. In fact, if anything, we may have increased it. That's because these roads do not have the same amount of traffic per side. They have a very different amount of cars going through. This is a very rudimentary light signal, and this is more akin to how a four-way stop would operate. Just with a light. The first thing you can do to help this out is you can increase the maximum amount of time that each light signal area can go for. Keep the minimum at three seconds as this is the minimum amount of time it takes a car to begin moving into the intersection. The max time is the maximum amount of time that a certain light can be green. It's not the maximum of amount of time it will be green. This all depends on how this equation works out here. More waiting than driving, or someone is driving, someone waiting, no one driving, no one waiting. I prefer to do the more waiting than driving, just because you're usually going to have people at all corners of the intersection at some point, and you do not want these to flip just because somebody is waiting there or because nobody is waiting there. I also tend to do the flow sensitivity at between 0.2 and 0.3 for most of these. And we're going to keep all those there. And we're just going to change all four of these signals to that same 24 second maximum amount of time. And we're going to see if this helps the traffic at all. Spoiler alert, it probably will not do very much. It will mostly help 
the east-west directions here that have the most amount of traffic. However, the problem is for every bit of traffic that you have going through on one signal, you're going to be stopping it on the opposite side. So the east-west directions are going to continuously build up because they're going to continuously block each other from allowing everyone through. This is a big problem. And as you can see right now, because there's a lot of trucks going through the north direction, it is constantly not allowing the east-west directions to move. So they are building up quite a lot. In order to alleviate traffic, we're going to do two things. We're going to add a lane to each direction. We're going to tell them not to do any lane switching next to the intersection. We're going to change the lane direction so that each direction has a dedicated lane. So we have one lane for going right, one lane going forward, and one going left in each direction. This is a very basic red light setup that you are probably very familiar with. Depending on the amount of traffic you have, you may want two left turn lanes, two right turn lanes, or two go forward lanes, or some other combination of lanes. For example, you could have a right and forward be in the same lane if not a lot of people are turning right or not a lot of people are going forward. There are a lot of things you can do to mismatch your lanes and you know narrow your roads while still allowing a similar amount of traffic through or adding lanes of course is always an option as well. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to change our lights into a new sequence and I'm going to discuss a couple of different types of light sequences that optimize traffic for different things depending on how many people need to go in different directions. The first sequence that we're going to go through is going to have a dedicated left turn on both directions at the same time and then it's going to allow everyone to go forward and right in those two directions. For the next sequence, we simply do the opposite, and we say allow left turns going east-west, and then allow everyone to go forward and right in the east-west directions. To make sure this is all correct, we also want the right turns to be able to go when the left turns are going. We allow the right turns in that direction as well. So when you look at it, you'll have left, left, right, right, straight, straight, and right, right, and then left in the opposite direction, and then forward and right in the opposite direction. We're going to keep our counters up to 24 just because. Now let's see how this works as opposed to the other direction. As you can see, it's allowing a lot more people to go through, and traffic is not building up nearly as much as it was previously. We are still having a problem with buildup, particularly in the left turning lane off the north side and the go forward lanes in the east west direction. The other sequence that I like to use and tends to work better when you have a differing amount of people turning left depending on the direction. For example, in the north south direction, you have a lot more people turning left from the north than you do from the south, it goes like this. Instead of allowing both lanes to turn left at the same time, you allow only one direction to turn left. Similar to the first type of traffic light that we showed, you allow people to turn right, forward, and left off of one intersection at a time. But then where it changes is you get rid of the left turn here, and you allow the other direction to go forward and right, and then you allow the opposite direction to go left, forward, and right, stopping traffic in this direction. Then you do the same with the left and right directions. You say left, forward, and right. You add a step, forward and right in both directions, and then left, forward, and right in the opposite direction. What I like about this type of traffic light sequence is it allows people to turn left and go forward from a more busy side without relying on the bottom side also being able to go left, forward, or right at the same time. I find that in a lot of mismatched traffic direction uh, intersections, this type of signal works a lot better. But let's put it to the test here. As you can see, it spends a lot less time allowing or trying to allow the south side to go 
Then it does the east-west directions and north-south directions. The north-south direction does get a lot more time on the left turn and gets a significantly more amount of time on the forward and right directions. Also, the go forward directions on the east-west direction have a lot more time to move through the intersection, and you still have a protected left turn for everyone, allowing a lot less conflicts than you do with some of the other signals. For some more improvements, because as you can see, we have a significant amount of buildup in multiple directions. In this direction, everyone wants to turn left. So we have three lanes. We don't really need to add more lanes. However, we can say that this right turn lane is now a right and go forward lane, as not a lot of people want to do either of those. And now we have two dedicated left turns. We can also do the same thing here except we're going to say allow two go forward lanes and one left turn and a combined forward and right turn lane there. The south direction does not need three lanes. However, it's doing fine, so we'll keep it the way it is. Same thing with this last direction. We're going to give it two go forward lanes and a right turn and then a dedicated left turn lane. As you can see, with the changes we've made, cars are now stacking up in all three lanes on the west side road, the one that's going towards the right here, as well as the left turns from the north side. They're using all three lanes now, and that's exactly what we want. We want cars to be using as many lanes as possible to stack up in front of the light, because that's where lights have their strength is in when it turns green, allowing as many cars through in bulk at a single point in time as possible. There are still many improvements that this light could have. However, I hope as a basic tutorial, this was a good introduction to different types of light sequences. And as you can see, the reason I like that alternating left turn is it gives you a much more flexibility on what lights you want to prioritize and when. For example, I could almost make the bottom light not prioritized at all and just cycle through the three top lights. But it's working well enough as is, and I don't really need to add more lanes. If I wanted to, I could add a fourth lane to the east-west directions. However, I don't think I'd get too much more benefit out of it, as they're moving through the traffic pretty well right now as it is. Thank you again for watching this video, and I hope to see you in the next video. Hey, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you do, Alfredo here says you should subscribe. Or maybe check out this video that YouTube recommends. Well, go on. Why don't you do it?